Uh, so we'd like to call the select board meeting for the town of Woodbury to order. And the first item on the agenda is our open town meeting. Open meeting. No, we just did. We just opened it. <laughs> and so now we are looking for adjustments to the select board agenda. I have a couple of small things. They don't really involve any time. Or I don't know whether they could be somewhere else. But anyways, <clears throat> the listers are asking for an extension of time, which they do every year. And then we have the audit proposal from Sullivan and Powers, which has been reviewed by the auditors, John and Jane. And... Uh, they said it's ready to go. You probably got their email. I did, yes. And barring the fact that they are not lawyers, yeah, they yeah. felt pretty confident that yeah. it was similar to things that we've done in the past. Mm -hmm. And it would be useful for all of us, I think, to have that go forward. Yeah. After how many years we've been talking about it, Yes, no, yes, no, and finally... More than a few. The, the voters approved the money, and here we are. Yep. So... I've reviewed the draft of that document, mm -hmm. and I'm happy to sign it, okay. if it's the same draft that I saw before. We have two copies, one, I guess, one for us and one for one to mail back. They're already dated, Diana. Well, there's a light line down there. I dated that one. I didn't date this one. You can pass those on to Brandy. Do we have to wait for oh, okay. all, or are we okay with going with two? I think it's up to them now when they want to start. He was referring to Peter, having Peter's signature also. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll just bounce him an email. If he's okay with going forward, then I'll just mm -hmm. mail these out. That'll be great. Thank you very much. And this is the Lister's request for an extension. Which we've done, I think, pretty consistently. Yeah, they do every year. There's just not enough time between April 1 and July 1, or whenever they, the state likes to get it in. It's just impossible. I didn't okay. sign that yet. Oh, here it is. Okay. <laughs> you slipped it in there. I'll return it to the list. So, minutes, I think I left there for you. Yep. And I am willing to approve. All right. So, motion to approve. Second. So moved. Great. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was going to chair the meeting. Um, <laughs> other public comments? So we've approved bills and payroll orders. We've done public comments. We've approved our minutes. So now it is time <laughs> for our town clerk's report, please. First thing I have is that we have gotten two different complaints about Bryn Paul's animals up in West Woodbury. The first one came in from Harry Daly on May 5th. He got home from work and the dogs just charged him, barking, carrying on. Hmm. And the other one, I, oh, it's dated May 5th, but I didn't get it in the emails until today. And it's from Mary, the last name is W-A-T. K E V I C H. Mm -hmm. And she says the dogs have been over um, 
climbing on her well-built fence and barking at seven two-week-old lambs and three ewes. Oh. How do you say that? Ewes, The female yeah. sheep, anyway. Yeah. Ewes. That are in the house, in the oh. house there. Huh. And she says that the... And what is that location again? I'm sorry. West Woodbury. That's all in West Woodbury? Both those locations? Mm-hmm. Right. Way out of the Complaining end. about the same animals. I have a not animal complaint, but today I heard of another complaint from the majors about general just messiness and people building stuff without permits. And, um, uh, and she goes on to say that um, one day he had his truck parked in the middle of the road with the doors open and the UPS truck could just barely get through. Mm. They go over and knock on his door, there's lights on. But he won't come to the door. Mm. Now, where is this? West Woodbury. Uh, yeah, but where? Way out to we're almost. These are like to the, the last end, almost to the end with the shit at both sides of the exactly. road. Exactly. That's it. We've been, we need to find a record company that will go get vehicles. And right before. And I will take care of that. Really? Yes. Great. But it's going to be the end of it when they come get them. They're going to pay dearly to get them back. Huh. Are they in the right of way? Is that what you're saying? If they're yeah, this in, in the middle of the road, yeah. Yeah. like that, oh, the then road. they're going to get yeah. towed, yeah. and that's going to be the end of it. Mm -hmm. It's going to cost them three, four hundred to get it back. You don't only take one application, mm -hmm. it'll straighten yeah. them right out. Yeah, but what do we do for all the ones that are parked on the property? I mean, that's a whole other problem. I don't seem to have much authority when it gets off nope. the side of the road. Nobody but. does. <laughs> Unfortunately. I'm afraid that we don't either. There's also um, next to the cemetery, there's a bunch of unauthorized vehicles and shacks and trailers that aren't even on this person's land. But, yeah. well, it's a whole question about who's landed on. But. Uh, Harry told me that he called Kim Silk last year yeah. about this same problem uh -huh. and nothing was done about it. Hmm. So this email that I got today from Mary, do you want me to forward it on to I would like the to select see, board? I would love sure. to see that. That would okay. be terrific. Thank you so much. And then I had a question on, and I believe I sent this out to you, the Woodbury Mountain Road. Now, even the part of the Woodbury Mountain Road that's in that Woodbury Reserve now, that's still our road? It's the class whole four. thing. It's all Class 4 yeah. road. Class 4 road. And it's it cannot be closed? No. no. Not yet. Okay. Not unless we turn it into a track. It better be either. Oh, really? <laughs> It's all class four road. And they, we don't have one called Woodbury Mountain Road, so they might be talking about the callus end where they actually have a sign that says Woodbury Mountain Road, right? At the callus end of it. I don't know what you're talking and about. Then, and then it becomes Slayton Pond Road, and then when it gets out to the class three portion, it's Woodbury, West Woodbury West Road. Woodbury Road, yeah. And Mike uh, Gray always called from the four corners up over to West Woodbury Road, the Ho Chi Minh Trail. Well, its technical name is Mountain Road, Mountain but right. the, the people so who use it, the, so the four-wheelers the call it Ho Chi Minh yeah. Trail. What? They might be. might be the one they're referring who's to. The one, who's complaining about it? Uh, Devin Maynard. He was just asking whether it was open or closed, right? Yeah, he says, yeah. can you please share information you may have received regarding seasonal closures? of the Woodbury Mountain to vehicle traffic and when the traffic may resume. There is none, so. We've never done anything with that road in terms of closures. No. The former the owner far, used to, as far as I know. The former owner used to ask us, please would we do something about that road because he would put a lot of money in it so it so they could log and then it would just get ruined. Right. By um, you know, people who didn't care. So, yeah, Would you forward those emails, please? I'd appreciate that. To all three of you? 
I think that would be sure. best. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think I already got it. I think you already said that. I think that, I've right? at least seen one of them. But. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then the special town meeting that we had May 7th, this past Saturday. There was 101 voters that signed in to vote. Mm -hmm. 97 actually voted with 70 voting yes, 26 no, and then there was a blank. A blank. I'm sorry, what was that first number again? 103? 101. 101 signed in. And then 97 actually voted. Mm -hmm. And they needed 49 to make it a legal pass. 50%? Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, it went fairly well. It was civil. I think people got their answers to their questions, some of them. Some of them. <laughs> A few of them. <laughs> yeah. And we have received two applications for the road crew. Hmm. So how one as a full-time and one as a part-time. Hmm. <clears throat> so sure do how. tell. So I'm not sure well, how to deal with them. Yeah. Yeah. You know. The part-time position is Lynn Gallison, who has more than 50 years of experience Ooh. with road and construction work. And then we have Timothy Neal, who is a part-timer now for the town of Woodbury. So, Chris, do you think we should continue to advertise? Yes. I don't think you can. What do you mean? You Why put not? a deadline on it. I think well, you got to act on it. Well, okay. I don't think so. I do. Okay, well, I don't agree. Well, but I'll find out. Well, we can argue about it, but. <laughs> you can act well. <clears throat> Chuck, why would we not continue to advertise? Just because we. Why wouldn't we hire an a operator that is a greater operator and get these roads up, Jay? Okay. I thought you were going to do that. I have been. <laughs> I worked last Friday, 14 hours. Yeah. I worked last Saturday until 8 o'clock at night. Well. I worked this Saturday yeah. from 1.30 until 5.30. Yeah. And you know what? what? You're not I doing... have a life of my own, too. <laughs> and you think that's funny? No, I don't think that's funny. I don't think that's funny. Okay, when you worked this Saturday, was it Foster Hill? The lower end of Foster Hill. Was the road shut, closed no. down? No. Okay. Because I had a call from Cassie, the rural root carrier out of East Callis. Yes. Wanting to know mm -hmm. that if it was shut down and if it was, she needed to reroute her route. Mm -hmm. And if not, she had to talk to her substitute. If it was shut down, it was from Gary Ewans to the top of the hill, and I don't know anything about it. I was doing from Gary Ewans back to South Woodbury to the blacktop, and mm -hmm. it was not shut down. Okay. I had 30 vehicles go by me. I will let her know that. So Chuck, not to jump in on you, but it sounds like you'd like to take advantage of these two applications. As I soon don't as know why we wouldn't. That's fine. It, the the period is up. Mm -hmm. It's time to do something. Okay. Fair enough. So at some point we'll have a executive session, I guess, and discuss we'll have to do that. We can't do, do it. Interviews. We can't do it quite yet, but. Mm -hmm. But, uh, all right. Chuck, thank you. It's great. And that's all I've got. All right. So I think we should move to the town treasurer's report, please. So, for the last two weeks, uh, taking in for cash receipts, totaling $1,917.61. Um, zoning, uh, zoning, fleet permits, access permit, records restoration, dog license, land recording, map recording, vault fees, and zoning permits. 
uh, delinquencies. Ron did come in over the weekend. I haven't done his deposit. Um, so other than that, there was no delinquencies that came in. Um, State of Vermont put an electronic uh, deposit in for the library for the summer reading grant of 300. Swenson made a deposit uh, for January, February, and March of $6,952.03. Um, and that's the lowest it's been in a while. And it's been going downhill the last three years as far as what we need for income. Other goodies? Other goodies. That's pretty much it. Thanks, Brandy. All right, Chuck, I'm afraid it's back to you. Okay. <laughs> well, we're gaining laughing. on the roads, but it's bad. Uh, mm -hmm. Last Friday, Greg decided he wanted to go to the log show down to Essex Junction, and Tim took the day off. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't able to get in the grade around Friday, and I wanted to go to the fire station meeting Saturday morning. And Saturday afternoon, I got my grader, and I graded two roads, and um, which is fine. I don't have a problem at it, mm -hmm. but I have not talked to one person in this town that is not bitched about the roads. Mm -hmm. I've been home for almost three weeks, and there ain't anybody said a good word about anything, and I'm sick of it. Mm -hmm. Sorry so you guys it. need to suck it up. I saw a really nice post on Facebook about somebody said you did a good Robin job. Robin Bradley <laughs> did. She did. Oh. And uh, Bobby Hoppy told me. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. Oh, at the meeting Saturday that she appreciated mm -hmm. what we'd done up on East Hill. But I'll tell you what. For every one good one, there's about 60 bad ones. Mm -hmm. And it ain't cool. These roads should be in good shape by now. Yeah. Sorry to hear that. Mm -hmm. yeah, wow, it's getting to the point where something's going to happen. There may not be anybody working for the town, including me. Mm -hmm. So I want some action. So you would suggest we hire these people right away? I would suggest that you hire a greater operator right away. No. How's that going to work with the rest of the crew? You know what? Hmm. At, the, at this point, you probably really don't know what I want to, you probably don't really want to hear what I got to say about the rest of the curl. Hmm. So let's keep it civil okay. and hire a greater operator. Hmm. Hmm. And it wouldn't be that bad an idea to hire him tonight. Hmm. The road crew will be gone Wednesday for all day. Yes. They were gone Friday to go to a log show. They're going to an equipment show Wednesday that I finally found out the town is paying for. And I'm not very happy about that either. Mm. We got roads that ain't fit to drive on, and they're mm. going to a show. Huh. Really? So And they get paid not only for the entry fee, but for the time? <laughs> what do you think? Mm. Doesn't seem very How do you like it? Mm. Ain't good. Not a good time. No. Hmm. And they know how you feel about it? They certainly do. Yeah. Hmm. I know my opinion doesn't really matter in this. You're a taxpayer. You're a town, it matters taxpayer a lot. town person, so please. But I don't feel that Chuck is getting paid enough to be on the grader for um, 
his wage. I agree. Yeah, not I don't care about that. Well, I care. Mm. I, I'm glad you don't care, but I care. And Brandy cares. We're two mm -hmm. taxpaying citizens, so. Mm -hmm. He's not getting benefits. He's not, you know, we offer benefits to our road crew. And, and Chuck's doing this because he wants to be proud of Woodbury and his roads. And I'm not. Mm -hmm. well, we, we went up East Hill and down and around Cabot. We did the loop to, to the back way to our house. It was horrible. Horrible. I know. And the ruts, you can't swing them because it's literally like this. Hmm. Well, I will say that the kids who drive in the bus from Woodbury School have been happy about the roads. <laughs> How's that? So whatever, whatever, whatever that means to you, oh. the buses are on time for the hmm. first time. In months, mm -hmm. good. So something's something's working, and I guess that's thanks to you, and I appreciate it. So I'll just say it from my children to you, you know. Thank you. That they love to get picked up on time. <laughs> <laughs> well, it sounds like we uh, need to make some changes here, and if hiring is the first next step. Then that sounds like the best next step. Then I, I think we need to set a executive session up for Lynn Gallison. Should we bring him in for a... Yeah. Okay. Yep. Sooner the better. As in a day or two. Okay. Diana, can we do that with two? I don't think that Peter is going to be able to... No, yeah, we can. Should we do both interviews in one executive session? Mm -hmm. Just Probably be better if we do both it. at the same time, right? Probably yeah. should. Yeah, okay. So... Well, we got to reach out um, on, right? Yeah, on Monday. I could do Thursday. This Thursday? Yeah. So can I... I can as well. As mm -hmm. long as it's in the evening, okay. afternoon okay. or evening, I can do it. Okay. Can't do it in the morning, but afternoon or evening, I can pull it okay. off. Okay, so let's plan for 6 o'clock Thursday. Yep. That gives me time let's to advertise that. it. It'll be an executive session, so you don't have to come. Well, you can come <laughs> if you want. We can sit in the parking lot <laughs> <laughs> until we come out. <laughs> Um, you know, I'll set them up for separate times. Yeah. Yeah. One at six and one at six thirty or is, something. Tim yeah. is <coughs> applied twice. Yeah. Well, you maybe know, we should talk with you first and then have them come in. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's leave it at that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Let's leave that for yeah. executive session. Okay. Okay. So All right. Maybe we can have. Okay. So maybe we can meet with you at five thirty. Okay. Right. Tell me whatever you want to do. And okay. then we can start the interviews at 6. Okay. And do half an hour. Yeah. Right? To okay. give ourselves some gaps. Mm hmm But uh, we should probably include Tim. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well. And that will be a conversation. Speaking out loud, uh, I guess if he's applied twice and we're not getting any applications, that. Mm-hmm. I think it's time that we heard Tim out again. I, me too. I, and there needs to be some stipulations about the fire department and all mm -hmm. that stuff. And, but I think probably we need to hire him. Mm -hmm. And I say that because, well, no, I'm not going to say that. Skip that part. Mm -hmm. What's wrong? Let's save that for the conversation that we're going to have during interviews. Yeah. Okay. All right. Sounds good. And. I think it would be important that you're present during all those interviews. Oh, I'll be there. 
Oh, I'm just, no, I'm mm -hmm. saying, Thank I, you. I would ask you to yeah. please be there <laughs> for those interviews. Mm -hmm. So it's not just a select board. Well, you probably couldn't stop me. Wow. <laughs> and that's fair enough. Mm. <clears throat> so Peter might be back. I don't know. I'm, I'm not we'll sure. We'll see. We'll ask right. and see what happens. Mm -hmm. But I um, hope he is. But two, but two, two plus Chuck. That's going to work. Mm -hmm. I think that I have argument enough to sway you two to vote. Okay. That's fair enough. We'll have that conversation after we hear them in their interview. Right. Mm -hmm. The other thing is we have the 550 up to the Rue Brothers. Uh, there's a computer on the transmission that's bad, $1,300. Hmm. But the cab is bad, too. We Rotten? Bad? Yes. Sorry. We built a new flatbed for it. Mm -hmm. And the frame is in pretty good shape. But it's going to... And we're getting a price to find out what's going to mm -hmm. be able to go through inspection. Mm -hmm. So there's going to be... Hi. And I'm not exactly sure when we're going to hear about that. Mm -hmm. But it's in the works. If that doesn't work, we're going to have to think about coming up with some money for something. For a one ton, three quarter ton, we can put the, sander in, the salter in. I think we had a buy for that. I'll have to look back at the... At the, at, at the notes, but I think we have a buy for that in the next year. A buy. A buy? A buy for... Planned? Yeah. You mean? Oh, okay. Speaking of which, could you give us a copy of that uh, HERF spreadsheet? It wasn't in the town report this year, but I'm sure you have one somewhere. Yeah, yeah it hasn't been updated. It's, it's well, we have to update it. Hasn't a 550 been a problem been, for a long time? It's been yeah. before my time. Yeah. So, so we've got the When I first started, we we decided to put the money in. And I don't need, I don't remember the exact number, mm -hmm. but it was around three thousand, four thousand dollars into it to build a body, get it inspected, buy a sander mm -hmm. or a salter. Mm -hmm. It's a hydraulic driven uh Three yard sander that we can put in something else. Mm -hmm. But Brandy's looking, maybe she. Last year we put $8,787.72 into the 550. That was with the uh, uh, sander, though, right? And the body. Yeah, because it was wood. Yeah. 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 So we've got the two big trucks and the low pro. What is that like? A intermediate truck or? It's an intermediate truck and it's in good shape. <laughs> okay. um, I think we're still paying on it. Mm. We are. We are. Newest, the low pro is a 2019. It's the newest piece of equipment mm. we own. And we are still paying on all day. Uh huh. And I am trying to get it situated where we don't do one of the ten wheelers until we can buy it. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what we're, that's we're set up for, basically. Supposedly, in, after July 1st, we're supposed to have money enough to, or almost money enough, so that by, it's going to take a year to get it. Mm -hmm. By the following year, we'll have money enough to pay for it. Now, I'm only telling you what I've been told. That's my <laughs> understanding so, as well. So currently, we have 138000 in and the there's fund. The eighty or ninety thousand going in after first July. Yes, I think so. No, no. I already transferred over. That's no. everything we so, got. So I don't transfer over to the HERF until after I've paid the school their one point something million. Um, but sometime so after the July first, the mm -hmm. less leftover of it is around fifty something thousand. I do will transfer to the HERF fund for next fiscal year. Um, after that's what's left over out of the ninety thousand after we've paid for the payments. For the payments. So you take yeah. the so the so ninety thousand that's budgeted and the payments come out of the ninety out of the highway, something. not out of the herf. Right. Now, but the high okay, but is the loader and the low pro is gonna be paid off this year? Uh, we got the low pro. Low pro's that's not. like twenty six. 
the low pro is. No, we got time on the low pro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't have the schedule with me, but mm -hmm. yeah, the low pro won't be paid off for a while. But the loader is close, I think. So we're dealing with a ten-year-old truck and a nine-year-old truck. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. And in the fall, we send them to Charlie Boys and have them gone through. Mm -hmm. to make them as good as you're going to get. Mm -hmm. But they need to be replaced. But somehow this town needs to get on a schedule where they're replacing one, say like 2023, mm -hmm. the next one they'll get replaced in two, 2028. Mm -hmm. So that you've got on a 10 year schedule these trucks on a 10 year schedule because it, you had a school you pay in one, what'd you say the school budget was? 1.3 mm -hmm. or something and now we got a fire station and we're going to be paying mm -hmm. 1.3 mm -hmm. million dollars for it mm -hmm. and nobody's even thought about town equipment. Somebody's going to have to swallow a hat here real quick. Yeah. Yeah, what good's that $1.3 million fire station if they can't get across the roads? That's right. <laughs> if they ain't getting a road plow, they yeah. ain't getting it. Right. And with all their city trucks down here, instead of some good old four-wheel drive trucks, they ain't going to go anywhere anyway. With all the what? I'm, I'm, what you I'm, their I'm, city trucks. City trucks? The fire trucks, you're saying? Go down and look at them. No, I wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> they're all, cabs, they're all six square cabs, and cabs. Six, yeah, they're over in the country. They may to go out into East Long Pond or... Mm. Mm. I feel like we have a schedule for this mm. that, I'm, that I need to... We've worked on it some. Yeah. I don't know that we've got a real schedule, but... Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure there was one in the town report last year, not this year. Chuck, I'll uh, I'll get back with Michael. I'm sorry, I'm not the chair, well, so I don't, That's all right. I, I don't I don't really know exactly, but I'll work with Michael and find out exactly what that plan schedule was, because it doesn't seem to be reflected. In, in all fairness to you, you caught me on a bad night, so. Oh, Chuck, you're, you. Chuck, you're fine. Skip Lindsay had updated it when he was the chair. Yeah, that's um, right. That's been. It's still that, been a while. That's been yeah. well before my time, um, so. So, I will bounce it to you. It's an Excel spreadsheet. Um, will you do that to me too? Yeah. Yeah. Can, can, me can too. we? Can, yeah. Can we all be involved in that? I I appreciate that. Thank you, Miss Brandy. We started having the uh, replacement schedule when Elizabeth Stratton was on the board. Maybe it was Elizabeth Thompson at the time. I don't know, but it's been going on ever since then. I think Skip. Yeah, might have started well, it they, over, but there couldn't have been a lot of replacement stuff going on then. No, I don't mean. I mean, the, they're the in the hole itself. Yeah. Transfers out. <sighs> All right, Chuck. Thank you. Yeah, don't spend a lot of time on it now, Chris. We'll get it straightened out. Uh, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna worry about it now rather than later. Well, that's all right. It idea. wouldn't be a bad thing to put an application to the ARPA for a cushion. It's true. Who's the ARPA? Is the money that the IRS, the, the federal, had given oh. us for COVID relief? Yeah. yeah, I thought you know the. We could have just taken it and bought a new truck and not have to worry about all these other Yeah, things well. <laughs> Too late now. <laughs> but there's another bunch next year. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, if you take all that money this, this uh, year, buy one truck and put the payment off for four or five years, that's mm -hmm. no good either. Yeah, yeah that's, not, gotta, that's, that's not helping us. You're going to get a handle on it. <laughs> that's, not, oh, yeah. that's not really helping us. We we'll get see what they come in for the with the uh, applications that if they've already got. All right. Well, let's worry about the town. Yeah, let's worry about special town meeting so that we can. Yeah. You know, um, no, excuse me, uh, special session. Yeah. So that we can interview some candidates and get some new folks. Get some started. And get some new mm -hmm. folks on the crew. Sound all right? Let's start there. I'd also good. like to know your opinion about um, how much Swenson is paying us 
and how much I don't know additional use, there. whether or not there's actually, I mean, I've heard people say they think there's more granite coming out, more granite coming down the road. I mean, just well, they pay by the cubic foot. Ideas. They, use, they pay by the used, right, usable, usable cubic, cubic foot. foot. Right. But they're using, if they're using a new road now, they're using almost twice the amount of our road. That's my point, yeah. Mine too. So. And did you have a chance to say anything to anybody about uh, within that road up there with their material? I can't get ready to call them back. Yeah. Okay. Did you get up there and meet them? No, he wasn't there. Mm -hmm. I went up twice. So I think that you and I have to dial down and get to Kevin Swanson. I okay. mean, Kevin Spaulding. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we have to actually meet with him directly because okay. he's the he's the tip top. I think that, that needs to be the first thing that happens. If we can get a bunch of material out of them, maybe we can let it ride for a year what they're paying. Well, let's yeah. find out first right. before we make any bargains. Right. Let's I don't understand. want anybody to shoot, it, shoot themselves in the foot. Yeah. Here, right? Let's really have a conversation mm -hmm. with, I mean, Randy's fine. But let's talk to... Let's, Except let's, he's stretcher thin now, you can't catch up with him. Yep, so let's talk to Kevin yeah. and find him. We might have to drive down to, to Barry, and do you and I can take a ride. We can do it. But Bob Pope retired? He's retired. Totally? Yep, really? as far as I know. So um, let's do that. Actually, and we'll, I'll give we'll you a call, and we'll see if we can get the ball started on doing something. All sounds good. All right. All right, let's do that. Randy, you, nope. did you have a question for me? I'm good. One of our auditors is interested in that idea also, that okay. they should be paying more. Well, I Who mean, is? John Reed, our, one of our auditors. Yep. He was, uh, we had a discussion about you know the fact that they, they're using so much more road and maybe they should be. Like well, I said last week, if they do start crushing and selling, they'll have to go through Active 50 and that'll give us a window to ask for more. But in the meantime, because they're using so much more road, I think it's fair to ask now. I think that it needs to be done by the cubic foot of each block. Well, that is the way they're doing it now. It's, no, no, it's, it's not. It's, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's, so they it's, may have usable. A four by four out of a ten by twelve. Well, yeah, but it's what they so put on the truck. Then they'll they, change it if if they if we charge. I don't know if they have a way to. They don't have a scale up there, right? For those big they do it by blocks. dimension. Right. That's it. So if they have to figure the dimensions of a trapezoid or whatever you would call it, that means they would just pay less per to have the same outcome. But anyways, yeah, I don't think but, so. But their all their accounting is based on their usable cubic foot, so that's why they do it that way. That's why they that's like why they to do, do it that yeah. way. Because they. But if there's, there's a lot say of if there's uh, 300 cubic feet in a block, and they use 140, mm -hmm. there's a 160 cubic feet that have come off that road and beat that road all to hell that mm -hmm. we ain't getting paid for. Mm -hmm. So if you had to take a little bit less and get paid for every cubic foot to come off that hill, you'd be way better off. Or we could just keep it the same way that they measure it and get more per cubic foot. Well, <laughs> I think we're talking to cross purposes to a degree. I think it would be good to talk to so, the head of, of Swanson. You've pretty much made up your mind. You want to talk to me, but you don't want to listen to me. Well, come on. <laughs> I'm just saying that, that really? it seems like six of, six of one half dozen of the other. We get yeah, but I'll tell you what, you took, put two birds out in the bush and you got one in your hand, one's way better than two in the bush. Well, I don't, yeah, I think it just would be really, well, you talk to them about it, whether they could measure those blocks by their total volume, I think they'll probably like that and give you more well you let's uh, instead, but we'll, 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 we'll let's say let's, all, let's chat about strategy. it strategy so yeah, right. you get them thinking about one thing right. and they go for another thing right. yeah right yep. let's uh let's find a way to chat about it and we will is that fine fair we will like is that fair enough we will. Right. let's find a way to to get with someone who can actually help us Never. figure this out <laughs> um because none of us run quarries so 
to find out where, where the dollars and cents are right. and see where we can find some middle ground. No one's gonna do that. Be, no one's gonna be happy. But we might get a little more and not get a roads beat up quite so much. And maybe they get a little less. And, and maybe we get some and maybe if we ledge up there, yeah, yep, and maybe be able to compensate and we may yep. come out better on maybe, that end. Maybe the difference is that we get some stone out of it. Yes. I'm all Fair about enough. bargaining. Alright. So let's just try to get with them and make it we'll do it. Make a deal. Make some understanding. All right, Chuck. Anything else for Town Highway? Uh, no, I guess not. All righty. Thank you for all your work. Appreciate it. Yeah, no thanks problem. for being on Glad the greater. Thanks for being on the greater so hard. I actually, yeah. the roads I've driven at have been great. So. We've got <laughs> the cabin rub to do tomorrow, and. Lake Hill Road hasn't been done. I didn't want to do that until the last because I live on it. And <laughs> when that's done, we're going to start over and we'll make the roads where they're fit to drive on. Well, we've been driving Cabot Road back and forth. Um, it's pretty I, rough. You know what? Well, yeah, it's been way worse. Oh, yeah. I, yeah I got, it's been worse yeah. than that. It'll yeah. be better it's tomorrow. Dry. It's dry. It's I was, dry. And I was I told today it. there is a huge hole over there by Hugo Myers. Old red house. There is. There is. Yeah. There, uh, you well, could, you could just bend out of the way. I think. <laughs> you can just I think you just put a load of gravel in there today because we're going to be up there tomorrow morning. Yep. Tomorrow, Cabot Road should be not perfect, but a lot better than it is now. So there's those two culverts that are right at the. Yes, yeah. I know. I'd be careful with that, with the crater, whoever's yeah, running it, that you may just rip that culvert. They're shallow. Culvert. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're wicked shallow. They, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Shallow culverts. We'll leave it at that. Well, they weren't. Anyway, that doesn't matter. Uh, Chuck, good for now? I'm all set. Good for now? All righty. Uh, so we need to talk about town positions that still need to be filled. Well, I just thought I just put them on here just so we could call that out in public again if, and see that we still. If you're all done with me, I think I'm going to bug out. Chuck, thank you. Um, all right. Thank you, Chuck. So we'll see you Thursday night. Right. Yep. Five thirty. Uh, here. 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 Five thirty. Five thirty. I'll be here. Sure Do you mind if uh, you and I chat before that? No, I'd like to. Okay. So you call me, or I'll call you. Um, I'll call you tomorrow How's afternoon. That? Sounds great. All right, I'll catch up with you. All right, appreciate it. You girls have a good night. You too. <clears throat> so I did advertise on from Port Forum. I don't think I put it on the website yet. But anyways, we still need a planning commission member. We need a zoning board of adjustment member. We need an emergency management director, and a health officer, and a town energy coordinator. The health department appointed Peter Peltz as the health yeah, officer. Right. That's the default right. of the chair of the right. select board. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So if you but if we, we really don't have one, it would be better to have one. Yep. And I have a line on one. Oh. Happens to be my wife. Oh. Um. Mm -hmm. I yeah. really. You better go. I'm really <laughs> reluctant about that, but she brought it up. So well, so I've had other people bring it up and think that it's going to maybe help people be healthier, but yeah, it's not it has that. nothing to do with that. And I'm, I tried to inform her about exactly what that position was. So, uh, uh, but I do have a line on at least one, maybe two. I got a and, had somebody who was and maybe a town coordinator. energy coordinator. But at this point, we can, yeah. as a select board, appoint right, make appointments. Yeah. yeah right. Yeah. So if we have someone willing, we can. Appoint. We put out, we put it out there, and if nobody from the public has raised their hand, and we find somebody, we can appoint them. Okay. I forgot to put on here other business, but I'd like to put other business before we adjourn. Uh, so we were expecting to hear back from the cemetery commission. Mm, no. Well. Well, we were. Yeah, but they didn't ask but to they be didn't, on the agenda. They, they didn't ask to be on the agenda. Yeah. So I did. I did reach out to them and also to the ARPA committee to ARPA. see if they had anything to report, but they didn't. Okay, so we should just put that on record that we had a call, but it didn't uh, didn't turn mm -hmm. into anything for this agenda. Okay. 
And with that, unless there's other public comment in the last moments. I have, like I said, I have other business. Oh, I yes, forgot to put that on there, but I think we should call out at least. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any solution, but we get more and more complaints about places that are terribly, people are living um, in terrible conditions and their neighbors are complaining. We've got at least a two up in West Woodbury. We've got potentially one, potentially two up on Old Quarry Road. Um, we've got the two down on Route 14. We've got the one up on Platt Street. And it's uh, very frustrating to have no, um, no way to uh, convince people to clean up their stuff. That would be the health officer's job, though, right? Well, the health officer can step in if somebody's sewage is running on the ground or they, if it's obvious that what they're doing is creating a health hazard for somebody else. Uh, what are the solutions that we would normally uh, you know, take advantage we, of? <laughs> that's very frustrating. I mean, okay. we're spending thousands of dollars on one. One of them we've spent thousands of dollars on already. And there's another one up on the hill that's not going to... There's a Board of Adjustment hearing next week, I think. 18th. The 18th. Um, it's ju I'm just putting it out there as a problem. Zoning administrator can only do so much, and he doesn't. He's not uh, aggressive the... about it. People building things without permits and building huts and living Wasn't in campers. Wasn't he supposed to get back to the board with a letter of when Bob came in, it was left. Am I just like dreaming it? <laughs> he was supposed to create, whether it was a fine, whether it was repercussion. Of well, you know, we threw out, uh, the, the board threw out a possible junk ordinance. Oh, there's another one out on County Road, the one by Stop Greenwood County. Lake. Stop that, uh, <laughs> Yeah, it, 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 Michael did a lot of work on a possible junk ordinance, but that never went anywhere. And as always, there's no enforcement, and I don't know, I just... I think that's the reason that we walked away from that, because there was no way to enforce right. anything that we're actually right. setting up. Mm. So anyways, that's most of the complaints that I get. Okay. All right. We did take action on two of them, and uh, we haven't taken action on, on the others. But. So I guess the next question is, how do we do enforcement? Hmm. Well, like I said, we spent a lot of money on lawyers on two of them, and it hasn't hasn't turned into anything. anywhere. Yep. We can't we can't just levy fines. The court has to levy fines, and even then. How do they get collected? That's just a conundrum. Okay. Other other business? No. Mm. Okay. So I'll take a motion to adjourn. Move to adjourn. So moved. All in favor. Yeah. Aye. Aye.